I'm starting off by peeling my russet potatoes. I used three potatoes that came in at about a thousand grams, so you wanna use something in that similar weight range. And then after they're all peeled, I just stuck a fork in them a few times so they can vent while they're in the microwave. You can bake these too if you want, but doing them in the microwave is obviously a lot quicker. I'm cutting them in half and then putting them into a big bowl and I'm gonna microwave them for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes until they're soft and fork tender. While they are microwaving, I'm gonna prepare my breadcrumbs. So I'm adding two cups of breadcrumbs into a nice big shallow dish so I can roll my croquettes around in it later. And then we gotta add some seasoning. So I'm doing nutritional yeast, paprika, garlic powder, salt, parsley, and some black pepper. Full ingredients and measurements will be down below and on my blog post. And then I am just gonna mix this all up and it kind of looks like sand art, doesn't it? Like it looks so pretty. So just mix it all up so that way it's ready to go when you're ready to roll them. And then I'm also gonna cut up some vegan mozzarella. This is the one from Follow Your Heart. This was about half the block and I'm just cutting up the half block into like little cubes so that way I can put it inside the croquette. This is optional, but they were really good with that in there. So once your potatoes are nice and fork tender, you can just begin to mash them. It would have made my life a lot easier if I cut these into smaller pieces and had a potato masher, but you know what? Hindsight is 2020, and I did it just fine with a fork. And you just wanna mash them as well as you can and as smooth as you can. I'm gonna add in some non-dairy milk and a little bit of salt to taste. You can start out with like a half teaspoon of salt and then add more later on. And you're just gonna mash these up, again, as smooth as you can get them. Mine had little bits of chunks in them and they were totally fine but the smooth you can get them, the better. So once it's all mashed, you're gonna take about two tablespoons, like a nice big scoop, put it in your hand, flatten it out. Then you're gonna add in a little cube of cheese. You're gonna wrap the potatoes around the cheese. And then I like to make it into a log shape. That's just kind of the shape that comes to mind when I think of a potato croquette, but you can also make a circle. So it looks something like this. Then we're gonna dip it in a little bit of a vegan egg wash, which is just chickpea flour and water. And then we're gonna roll it around in our breadcrumbs. So. That's pretty much it. And I'm just gonna coat the little croquette in the breadcrumbs and yeah, this is it. So while I was making these, I learned some tricks. First of all, it helps if your hands are actually a little bit wet so the potatoes don't stick to your hand. And then I found it easiest to put the cheese in the middle and kind of like fold the two sides over as if it were a taco and then roll it in between my hands. Kind of like if you were making a log with Play-Doh or something and then just kind of like tap those edges in and kind of make it into this little cute shape. And then I also found to just roll it like this was even easier and it kind of made the shape a little bit more uniform, got the breadcrumbs on there really nicely. And I like this tapping in on the sides too because it makes it the perfect size. So these are them when they're all done. I got 16 and these are pretty big. You could make them smaller if you wanted to. I'm gonna chill these in the fridge for about 10 minutes. They're pretty solid and good, but just to make sure everything kind of stays on there. And then I am going to put them on my baking sheet. We are going to spray them with a little bit of coconut oil spray and I flipped them while I sprayed them and made sure all the sides were good. And we're gonna bake them in the oven for about 25 to 27 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, flipping them halfway through. And I also added on a little bit of olive oil while I baked them, just because I wanted them to get a little more golden. So this is them when they come out all done. A few of them exploded, but that is totally fine in my book because I don't care, I love melted cheese. <laughs> so you look like this and I'm just showing you guys that they're nice and baked and they're sturdy and they're not fragile, you know? I'm trying to show you guys what they should be like when they're done. So I plated them up with some fresh parsley. I'm adding some vegan Parmesan on top. This is the one from Follow Your Heart. And yeah, let's look some inside action. Ready for this? Oh yes, look at that. So good, mashed potatoes and cheese. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love that? So that's pretty much it. These are them all done. They look so good and they are so yummy. And I just took them up with some spicy tomato sauce.